Um, I have faced a lot of challenges before in my life when I've been trying to pursue my goals and aspirations and stuff. A lot of it has been people who have genuinely just not believed in what I've what I've been doing and what I want to do. Yeah. Um, and people have like tried to bring me down and stuff and say I'm not good enough. But in no. a lot of ways, that's like they don't realise that that's what's make, keeping me driven and yeah. making me want to do it even more yeah. and get better. Um, yeah. Wow. Well, no, that sounds like really inspirational because I feel like that's something that a lot of people may experience. And that what you said, it kind of leads into the second question, which was, have those challenges been beneficial to you in any way? Yeah, 100%. Um, as like negative as it sounds... Um, and as like there's a lot of people in this world where if people give them the negative um, energy and stuff it will make them crumble and it won't um, like it could really hurt them and break them but Mm, as I've grown um, it did hurt me like at the start but as I've started growing and mature I've just like just laugh at what they do like I don't really care what they say because I know that what I'm doing is what's best for me yeah uh, and they can't um you know stop what I'm going to be doing so oh that sounds really awesome Caleb would you say that you're a perfectionist when it comes to acting and filmmaking if yes why absolutely not um (laughs) I don't think anyone in this industry is a perfectionist because everyone makes mistakes um and there's always growing room like growth for uh, everyone in this industry, even the people at the highest level, they're still always growing and improving with each new project and learning new things. So, um, yeah, I don't think I am a perfectionist, nor do I think I ever will be a perfectionist. Yeah, I mean, that's, I think that's something that takes a lot of courage and strength to accept and even embrace. Because that's just something that a lot of people experience. Is that, yeah. would you agree with that? Yeah, 100%. Yeah? Um, I think a lot of people can definitely get caught up in their ego um, and definitely think that what they're doing is what's uh, best for them, but it's not what's best for the people around them as well. And that's what what I think a film set or a film should be. It should be everyone coming together and collaborating on the one project. Everyone's involved. It's not just the, the one person or a select few people. Yeah. So... So going back to what you said about um, like doing something that is best for everyone, with your acting and filmmaking, is this something that um, your family or your friends around you, is this something that they also approve of? Yeah, well, my family and friends have given me so much support over the time I've wanted to do this. Um, my mum and my dad have always, you know, pushed me to try to uh, reach my goals whether that was in sport or with the acting stuff, they always want the, what's best for me. And um, I have some really um, close and awesome friends who as well have just supported me with it and see that this is something I want to do and something that I can do. So, yeah, um, yeah they just keep me happy, keep me working, keep me driven. And, um, yeah, I do it for them. Wow. Oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. (laughs) Like every word is just like, ah. Um, Caleb, what are your thoughts on this statement? It's okay if some things don't work out in relation to like the film and acting business. Hmm. Yeah, well, it is correct though, because it is okay if nothing works out. Um, I do believe that it's positive to have a plan B. I don't think that... um, just sticking to one thing is always the best thing Um, because you see as well it's always seen in sports where people just have their one goal in life and they reach it but then a a tragic accident or something happens and they can't pursue that so then they have nothing else once their um, career or whatever is over so um, that's why I've started as much as acting is my goal and um, passion at the end of the day that's why I've explored different aspects like writing and directing and filmmaking and 
photography or wow. all that type of stuff because I know that um, I can have something back to lean on and yeah. um, if my acting and stuff doesn't work out and if it doesn't work out then you know uh, as much as it hurts as I still have those aspects to look towards as well so no, it's definitely a good idea to have a lot of skills because it will give you an edge like it will give you not just like you know more of a chance of employability but like also give you more confidence 100 percent. yeah so how do you think that those skills have maybe given you a boost of confidence or just the encouragement to keep on even like to you know keep on going with acting yeah well the doing the photography writing and filmmaking and all that type of stuff um it's made me love acting even more right. um just because especially with the filmmaking side because you see how much um, work is put into a film even if it's just like a short film or something there's so much work put into it um, and it's just made me appreciate the whole art of film like so much and then so me as an actor try it's just made me go oh, okay when, on any project I need to give 110 percent yeah um, because it's not just again like I said before it's not just a one person job it's a many amount of people coming together to collaborate on this one project and yeah and at the end of the day it's not the audience isn't watching what the people are doing behind yeah. the camera they're watching what you're doing in front of it so yeah you need to step up to the plate so wow yeah step up to the plate that is going to be like a new life mantra for everyone yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now for the last question um is there anything you'd like the audience to know about your future projects anything we didn't get to talk about today uh, future projects, well I'm currently uh, about to start pre-production on a feature film I wrote called Disappointment Lane. Disappointment Lane? Yeah, Disappointment Lane. Wow. Um, which is about a young, aspiring young actor named Noah Harris and the film pretty much, without going into detail too yeah. much, um, the film pretty much just follows him uh, through his rise and fall to stardom and how it explores his personal life, his public life, and um, and yeah. So there's a lot of twists and turns. It's a bit of an Ooh. emotional. It's a bit of a, a confronting film. Yeah. So it definitely won't be for everyone. But yeah, I'm just really excited to um, get into it, and uh, I'm going to also be producing it and yeah. hopefully starring in it as well. But we'll see where that goes. But wow. yeah, so everyone listening just keep an eye out for disappointment lane in the next coming years disappointment lane everyone did you hear that yeah. <laughs> well kudos to you caleb all the best of luck with disappointment lane and all of your endeavors whether they're filmmaking acting related or not just you know all the best of luck with everything for you thank you so much thank, thank, you. thank you for having me you're welcome